Well, blessings everybody and welcome to the uh, last video or the last lesson of our series, Understanding the Anger of God. Thank you so much for persevering uh, through the Word. Sometimes we have to just put our nose to things, okay, to see what God is saying. Uh, this right here is just a wonderful, wonderful uh, coming together of everything. What we see here in the third chapter of Habakkuk uh, is a prayer. So make sure that you read this thing and meditate upon it. It's actually called a Shigianoth. And this is a term that you will see in the Psalms uh, quite frequently. And a lot of times we're not quite sure what these terms mean, but generally speaking, we think it's a psalm that is sung with enthusiasm, with passion. Okay, And it was a song or prayer for a choir director, usually accompanied by a stringed instrument. This gives us a little hint that perhaps Habakkuk might have been a Levite. We simply don't know. But we know that he lifted up this prayer, this song to the Lord in our um homework, you also did some uh, parallel and some scripture passages, and we saw in Exodus 15 with Moses' song that is quite similar to this one. Both of these songs, both of these prayers, exalt God entirely and completely. The focus is upon the Lord. And it's interesting because both songs are about the wrath and the judgment of God. Now, Habakkuk had heard the report, the vision that God had given him, and he feared because he knew what was happening. Now, all three chapters are the vision, and the Lord told him, I want you to record these things, and I want you to share them, okay? And so there's some interesting dynamics here of how uh, Habakkuk responded to a vision with this prayer. So he petitioned the Lord, and here are the things that we see. He said, Lord, revive your work in the midst of the years. Make it known. Habakkuk knew that the Chaldeans were coming. He knew that God was going to use them for judgment. And he wanted God to revive his work, his work of correction. But there's also the element of reviving uh, the work of restoration after the discipline of correction had come. Then Habakkuk said this, In wrath, remember mercy. Lord, even though your wrath is being poured forth, you have been very merciful to Israel in the past. And he requested that mercy to be there again. We know this is definitely true after the correction, after the wrath. But perhaps it's even true during the wrath. That mercy would be there and because God had promised restoration of his people and God had promised that he would not completely destroy them. Uh, in verses 3 through 15, we learn a lot about God right here. Just some key words. We learn about his glory, his power, his sovereignty over creation, his judgment, his wrath, his salvation, about his everlasting ways and his magnificence and his holiness. So Habakkuk's prayer was based on knowing God. He knew all these things about God. And this must be the same way with us. Uh, we need to base all of our prayer our entire life on that which we know about God. And you say, well, I don't know that much about God. Then seek him, he shall be found. Okay, Learn, experience. As Habakkuk did, we must live by faith. He trembled, yet he was confident in God's will and what God's purpose was. He would wait, submitted to the Lord. We're living in troubling times right now. And the word, I think, makes it very, very clear that the days are going to get even more difficult. And so we need to do the same thing. Wait upon the Lord, submit to Him, and trust in Him. Uh, again, I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama. I'll see you again for the next course.